sorry. in a car crash in Padstow this afternoon. The woman has been identified as Claudine Abutilio, where she lost control of her car in Parkdale Street near Chatswood. She was rushed immediately to the hospital, which is pronounced dead on arrival. Further investigations are still ongoing. She was doing so well in her job. She actually just got a promotion. But now it's all useless. <laughs> Wait. What does that red halo mean? Uh, no, it's just a coincidence. Maybe I should just go home and take a rest. Did something happen earlier? Hey! Dude! Huh? Huh? What? Did you say something? We asked if you're okay because you look really pale today. Like for real, for real. Oh, just going up the stairs is just really tiring. <laughs> Lol, I thought something happened to you. So, did you do your homework in Calculus Red? <laughs> of course not, but I'll probably do it later. It's more. Red, come on! Bye! See you later! Hey, Benedict, are you okay? Uh, yes, of course. Does that halo mean that? Huh? What do you mean? 
We can't just go home, you know. It's still break time. What's gotten into you? Please, let me explain later. We need to go now. Greg, <laughs> calm down. We aren't going anywhere. Are you feeling okay? Yes, but it's not safe here, so please. What are you talking about? Calm down, okay? I know your voice. We're in the library. Just listen to me! Good evening, Mrs. Santos. Is Iris around? She and Haru aren't replying to my messages. I'm worried. Hi, dear. She isn't home yet. But she told me that they had practice with Haru and that they'd be coming to live. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mrs. Santos. I don't think you need to be here. I swear to God, kids like you think that they know better and that they've been fooled up. I think you're just depressed or paranoid. I'm gonna take you home. What's your address? I'm serious. I'm not crazy. Please, just listen to me. I know who will die next. Please, officer, I'm begging you. I swear, I can give you more than my words to prove it. Arrest me if you think the next words that will come out of my mouth are lies. Okay, kid. Tell me what you know. Claudine Lagoncillo, she died in a gray SUV with the plate number PKS236 and she suffered a cranial fracture above her right eye and her neck was sprayed with glass. How? How? We never released a statement. Benedict Tan, a classmate of mine who jumped from the railings of the fourth floor, suffered three broken bones and his jaw was detached clean from his head from the impact. Okay, that's enough. Shit, even my goddamn friends, Iris and Haru, they were caught in a gang war under mistaken identity and was kidnapped and mutilated. Kid, I said stop. And killed several lacerations around their thighs. Snap out of it. Bruce face and was shot dead point blank around their head. I said stop for the love of God. Kid, I don't know if you're telling the truth. You could have just said something that were leaked in our forensic records. For all I know, you're just some insane kid who's been digging into something that they should have. I'm taking you home to your parents whether you like it or not. What the hell do you want to say or do? You can start by shutting the hell up. I'm taking you home to your parents. I fucking pray that you have that goddamn red halo around your head, you fucking asshole. Thank you for your time, Lucy. We'll make sure this never happened to you. No problem. The kid must have lost it after all of her friends died at the same day. I can recommend some psychiatrists if you want. There's no need for that officer. We'll make sure Red gets your head straight.
You're a mess. You go to the place like that with your random fantasies. What's wrong with you? Mom, Dad, please. You have to believe me. I need to tell you something, but please sit down. Okay, what's bothering you? Is there someone trying to bully you? Are you getting threatened at school? We know you lost your friends, and we're very sorry. Do you want to talk about it? Enough! Can't you just listen to me, okay? Remember the time when I was a kid and I was watching cartoons and the kids there have supernatural powers? Yes, you were quite fond of it when you were little. Yes, you always cried when you switched to other channels. Yes, what if I told you that I have those superpowers as well? Are you out of your mind, sweetie? There's no such thing as superpowers. Here you are again. Please, please, I'm begging you. I can see a red halo above their head and after many hours, suddenly they're dead. Okay, listen to me, sweetie. I think you're still grieving the death of your friends, and we're here for you. It's not your fault, my dear. You're just making this all up in your mind. I think we should seek for professional help. No, it is really real! Remember a time a girl got into a car crash? I walked past by her and saw a red halo. This is just any coincidence. I even warned Harry and Iris about this, but they didn't believe me, and look what happened! Yes, yes, my dear. We believe you now. But I think me and your dad have to cross all of this and talk it out. Just go to your room. We all know you've been through a lot. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Sweetie. We need to lock you because you're getting out of hand. But we call for help and let them handle and take care of you. You won't believe me. I'm just telling the truth. Why won't you believe me just this once? I think we should let her and talk to her. No. Let the professional handle the situation. All we can do right now is wait and let's just watch them. No, please don't leave. 